Hey guys, welcome back. It's playoff time for the Cleveland Browns. It's the end of the regular season, so we're going to go look at the stats this year for the Cleveland Browns, starting off with Deshaun Kaiser, our rookie quarterback. As you can see, not great, 14 uh, interceptions, 24 touchdowns. Our star, though, Todd Gurley. Nearly 2,000 yards rushing, 20 touchdowns, 25 broken tackles, and his longest run is 89 yards. Deshaun Kaiser also seen nearly averaging 10 yards a carry. Not bad. Jo Josh Gordon averaging 22. But receiving our number one receiver is David Njoku, who's healthy. Corey Coleman's there. Kenny Britt, second. Chris Gregg saw more usage later in the year. But let's go to defense. Our leading sack man is Emmanuel Ogba, followed by the rookie Miles Garrett. And you know this defense forced a lot of turnovers throughout the year. No more than Jabril Peppers. Six interceptions, three Defensive touchdowns on the year. Tied with only Miles Garrett to have three. And a kicking. Cody Parkey missed two extra points throughout the year. And one field goal along a 59 yards. So that is very good stats. 95%. And kick return, nothing special. No touchdowns, but we did have one punt return for a touchdown. So, let's hop straight into that game. This week, divisional round of the NFL playoffs. The Chargers come into town for this divisional round matchup. In the NFL, Stevie McBriggs leads his team to his their first playoff appearance since 2007. As you see, Pittsburgh has to go to Oakland. But we got the Chargers. We played them earlier this year. That was a close game. Just barely scraping by. Coming down to like the last offensive drive. Oh, Todd Gurley. He's going to break this. Opening touchdown of the divisional round. 87 yards. And the Browns are on the board. Pre-game we were talking about how there were no touchdowns returned from this kickoff squad. First kickoff of the playoffs. Todd Gurley takes it back. 87 yards to the house. And the Browns take a 6-0 lead. Already got a big lead. Not a big lead, but a lead at that. Oh, Jamie Collins, the Pro Bowl linebacker. Loss of two for Melvin Gordon, and it's second and 12. Emmanuel Ogba. Backfield. And he got his first sack of the postseason. Brings up a third and a mile. Third and 20 from the 15-yard line. Can the Browns force a three and out? Danny Shilton. Get the half sack with Miles Garrett. Two sacks and a tackle for loss. And it's a three and out for the Chargers. For the Browns. Probably in field goal range, but a few extra yards does not hurt. Oh, Josh Gordon tightly covered. But that core route 
is caught for 11 yards and a first down for the Browns. Here we go, shotgun formation again. Todd Gurley going to get the handoff. He cuts it outside. He gets over 10 yards to the 18. Will they give him the first? They don't. Mark him second in inches at the 18-yard line. Now for the Cleveland Browns. Can they punch this in and get a few points? Rolls out. Deshaun Kaiser's just going to walk into the end zone. Extends their lead to two scores. Great first play on their first on to start this drive now at the 50 yard line. Can the Browns come up big with a sack or a tackle for loss? Melvin Gordon breaks a tackle, breaks away. Danny Shelton can't catch up. Melvin Gordon 50 yards, touchdown, and the Chargers are on the board. Two play drive, 75 yards and third and nine. Nothing going on this drive so far. Shotgun formation. Najoku, favorite target. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Kaiser's just going to roll. And he gets out of bounds past the first down at the 44. That's where they mark him. That gets him a first down. Great play by the rookie. Couldn't find anything. Rolls, rolls, and just tucks it and runs. Throwing another pass at him right now. Two streaks. No! No! What is that? Why did he jump forward? Fumble on the play. Down. Third and long this time. Can this uh, uh, defensive line get some pressure on Phillip Rivers? Actually, yes, they do. Miles Garrett, one and a half sacks already. That might have knocked him out of field goal range too. The third sack for the Browns defense. Field goal unit on the field. A 62-yarder. I bring Peppers back. He doesn't make it. And that's a turnover. First down. And we can't do it. Sacked by Joey Bosa. Second year man out of Ohio State. Big play, what is that? Defense, Phillip Rivers guns it to Keenan Allen. 58 yards and a first down right outside the red zone. Bad defense, come on. Fumble, it's on the ground! Kirksey jumps on it! And it's a turnover for the Phillip Rivers Chargers. What is that? Emmanuel Ogba. Doesn't get fooled by the play action. Takes it away from Phillip Rivers and Kirksey. Jumps on it for a Browns forced turnover. Oh, he might be down. No challenge though. Gotta run this play quickly. That's what we do. That's what Todd Gurley knows how to do. This is gone, Todd Gurley. Second total touchdown on the day. This makes it another two-score game.
70 yards, first play from scrimmage, following the Manuel Ogba fumble. Great run by the best running back in the NFL. By himself is Phillip Rivers. Oh, wait, Kirksey! Big play, Kirksey! Can he get in? He can't! So he has a fumble recovery on the last drive. This time he picks it off and returns it to the two. The Browns defense is flexing their muscles here in the cold. The Chargers probably aren't used to this cold weather. They have that nice field out down in SoCal in LA. Kirksey run play. Can he get in? He can. Todd Gurley. Three total touchdowns on the day. And this extends their lead following the extra point to a 21. Chargers. Two minutes left in the half. Down 21. They need a score before halftime. Melvin Gordon spins out of bounds after Joe Hayden missed him. But they... Do get the first third and five. Jamie Collins Sr. get to the quarterback. Ooh, got the completion. First down timeout. Their first of the half of the Chargers. Christian Kirksey in the man in the middle. Incomplete. Oh, a lot of time in the pocket for Phillip Rivers. Incomplete across the middle where Christian Kirksey should have been. But now another field goal attempt for Lambeau. 37 yards. This should be simple enough. Should put it in. He looks like he will. He does. 28-10, 40 seconds. Here we go. Second play. One safety deep. That's it. You know, I like seeing. Oh, another play that we're going to use another time inside the 15 yard line. Oh, no, I meant to throw it to the other wide out. Sammy Coates. Oh, no. Number 26 takes it back. No, he takes it back a hundred yards. What a... Oh, you can't do that to Sean Kaiser. And then the pick six was huge to bring him within 11. Oh, no, dump off. No one's covering Melvin Gordon in the open field. He gets 14 yards for big play. Maybe a turnover. Miles Garrett gets that big play. It's a sack. He has two now on the day. Loss of seven. Five sacks. Third and 11. Can they get to him? They can. Great. Just let him 10 at the 14. Sammy Coates. Oh, no, Josh Gordon, my bad. 30 yards, my man. Oh, oh, Stephen McBriggs. He's liking what he's seeing so far from both the defense. Second and seven, though. Oh, Josh Gordon. He led his defender away from Kaiser. Great job. Oh, screen to Josh Gordon. Can he get in? He can. 14 yards. Josh Gordon on the screen. Formation. Melvin Gordon with Phillip Rivers. 
Oh, out route. Great route there by Keenan Allen for the first down. The house. Who is that? It's Calvin Pryor, the third. Stops him at the line of scrimmage. That big play by Calvin Pryor ended the fourth, and they elect to go for it to start the fourth. Can they get this? They can just barely two yards, Melvin Gordon. Here we go, second and ten. Pitch and catch to Keenan Allen. No, to Tra Travis Benjamin down to the 22 knocking at the door of the red zone. It's a break, not, or it's a bend, don't break mentality for this defense. It's already worked once. And it's another sack by Emmanuel Ogba. His third on the game. The game ball going. To Emmanuel Ogba. Oh, that's a team up. Miles Garrett and Emmanuel Ogba. What a game. Four and a half sacks for Ogba. And I'm pretty sure three now for Miles Garrett. Longest run is 70 yards for Gurley. Oh, had the counter work. Another first down. Third pen. Another counter play. This time Todd Gurley gets to the corner once again. Made a man miss. And he's off to the races. Yes, you see that stat line correctly. Four touchdowns on the game. Three rushing and the kickoff return. That set this whole game. The whole mentality of the team started after that kick return. And Todd Gurley's just like, out. Oh, bring him down, Jabril. Good tackle in the open field. Probably second and three. First play out of the two-minute warning. Oh my, actually bring on the field goal unit, a 56 yarder, this should be good. Lambo on the kick, it's up and it's good. So they put three more points down under 40 seconds now. Probably the last play of the game. Yep, that is it. The divisional round here in Cleveland goes to the Cleveland Browns. They actually win a playoff game. They weren't able to for the longest time. They go get this un this no name coach, Stevie McBriggs, makes a trade in the preseason to get Gurley from the Rams to replace two injured running backs. And look it, we're going to play for an AFC championship in a week. And I think we won't be going. We'll be staying in Cleveland. We're the best team in the NFL record-wise. As you see, the Chargers stood no chance. The pick six was their last touchdown. But until the AFC game, that will determine... Who will be playing in the Super Bowl? The Browns are the winner of the Pittsburgh Steelers Raider game. Until next time, see you 